I know. You guys already know about the newest iPhone 13 Pro now records ProRes video. It's so great. But Apple says they are gonna disable 4K resolution on their lower capacity model when you turn on ProRes, leaving you with an ancient 1080p. But it's true. A high quality codec like ProRes 422, even just two minutes of 4K video can easily take like 10 gigs. Although Apple may design a different codec for iPhone to make it smaller, but that's ProRes. It's not gonna be small anyway. So disabling 4K on their lower capacity model may be okay, but do they need to upgrade to a greater capacity just for 4K video? Well, it depends. If you aren't some kind of monster that using phone to shoot movies, then no, hear me out. Apple announced iPhone 12 last year that can shoot Dolby Vision at 4K resolution and up to 60 frames per second on 12 Pro model, and it has 10-bit color. Most people don't know that you can customize the camera settings, even add lock on it, 10-bit plus lock, that's very pro. With this little app, you can take legitimate 10-bit 4K lock video. This is more than enough for me and for most use, and it's storage friendly. I presume it would be much more powerful when it runs on iPhone 13 Pro. So for me, spending this couple hundred more bucks just for 4K ProRes video isn't a deal. I'm spending on some extra lanes, decent lighting, and stuff. So I'm gonna go with 1TB model, but I'm not aimed for 4K ProRes. But it's good to have it, right?